Hey, it's Andy from SmartWP and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about application passwords on your WordPress site. What they are, why you would need them, and most importantly, how to get an application password. Now, application passwords are kind of like your normal WordPress password, but it's a single use password that you're going to give an app to connect to your WordPress site. This makes it way more secure to share that application password than sharing your original password. Additionally, this allows you to make multiple passwords so you can actually revoke access to specific applications that you've given access to. This makes it a lot easier to connect apps and overall more secure. Now that we know what application passwords are and why you would need them, let's dive in to actually get one out of our WordPress site. You can see here, I'm already logged into a WordPress site. If you haven't logged into your WordPress site, you likely can access it by going to slash WP dash admin. Now that I'm logged in, I'm an admin here, so I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go to users and I'm gonna click profile. Now this is gonna be my profile on the site. So if you've ever reset your password, this is where you would do that. Uh, but we're gonna be doing an application password. So if we scroll down, you'll see here, we have our normal password area where you can set a password. But if you scroll down more, you'll see application passwords. So here's where you can actually generate one. So if you're using something like Zapier, it'll actually ask for this password. So let's type Zapier as an example. So I just hit add new application password. And you can see here, your new password for Zapier is, and then here's the code. So we just hit copy, and then we can bring that over to Zapier, paste it in. And what's great about this is if we reset our normal password, it won't interrupt Zapier. But the best thing is that if you want to revoke access, so if you're done using Zapier, you can just scroll down here and hit revoke and actually remove access so Zapier cannot edit your site anymore. This is great for integrating into multiple applications. Like I showed you, Zapier supports it. The platform I built called WriteBlogger supports it. And as you can see, it's a really simple way to share your credentials to applications. Now, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching. See ya.